My name is Tony McCauley. I'm an author, I'm a broadcaster and a peace builder. I grew up in Belfast at the height of the Troubles and that experience has shaped my life and for the past 30 years I've worked in conflict resolution. Conflict is normal. Conflict is natural. If you have two people in the same room, you will have a conflict at some stage because they have different needs, different uh, wants. Uh, so conflict isn't bad. It isn't something to be avoided. It's just part of life. However, how we deal with conflict, uh, we can either deal with conflict in a positive and a constructive way, or we can deal with conflict in a negative and a destructive way. The way that I would support individuals to deal with conflict is trying to get to what I would call a win-win situation, where you get the two protagonists agree that they have a shared problem, and, that, uh, and then to support them to come up with a solution that both protagonists will be happy with. And even if they can't be happy with it, at least they can live with it. In the context of this programme and with a family, uh, I, I would like to see those families become safe and shared spaces. Uh, and when I say shared space, I mean it's working out how we're going to live together and agreeing that. Now that means there will be rules and there will be responsibilities, but to me that's about adults and children, teenage children, making a contract with each other. I think literally for a family to have a, a group contract of how they want to live together and uh, saying these are my rights and these are my responsibilities in this family, I think that's a very good thing. If by people watching a television programme can pick up some basic simple conflict resolution techniques that they can use in their own lives, in their own communities, just by listening to how I would support others, I'd be very happy with that. It's the first time I've had to like look after myself for food. And then I, I can't make myself constipated. Well, I mean, what I would notice about this is she's obviously hasn't got a basic life skill of looking after her own her own diet. So once she's been given the freedom, she's just you know, there's no boundaries. She's just gone wild. I'm not touching it. There's not 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 for a million pound. I would not touch that title. Well, that's just about you know they obviously are struggling with taking responsibility. So they obviously have never had to clean the toilet at home. So I mean, there's always something there about. Again, children having the opportunity to, with their parents, decide who does what, who's responsible for what, who, what the role is. My image is very important because it makes me who I am, it makes me distinctive, it makes me stand out and it makes me just me. So when I see that uh, young man taking a pride in his appearance and you know, feeling good about how he looks and he wants to express himself, by his appearance, I think that's that's really good. That's a positive thing. Why would anyone want to suppress a teenager who wants to express themselves like that? I think that's great. 